welcome back to another segment of Manifest with SI Power. A couple things. Your perception, right, is being used against you, right? Remember, anything that doesn't serve you hurts you, right? And then the delusion that someone's doing something to you. There is no out there out there. John Wheeler told us that, right? So what's going on inside of you is the cause. So let's look at a couple of scriptures, right? John 3, 27. A man can receive nothing unless it's given to him from heaven, right? So we need to really break that down. So let's deal with hell first, right? Hell is weary, doubt, indecision, fear, regret, anxiousness, right? Desperation, right? Jesus said, take no anxious thought, right? Now let's deal with heaven, right? That's a inner state of calmness. That's, that's peace. That's tranquility. That's serenity. That's relief. That's peace. That's joy. That's happiness. That's bliss. From that space, from that state, you can create. This is this is really, really important. So we need to shift, right? We need to make our perception serve us. We need to stop being in victim mode because we're the cause. There, there's only you, right? You're creating your reality, not something external. Really wrap your head around that, right? So what we need to do is uh, Neville teaches that, you know, from the scriptures, what can do all things? Your imagination or your I am awareness. How can it do it? By your attention, by your focus, by your concentration. So how are you directing the inner screen to reflect what's going to be on the outer screen. We need to really look into this. We need to dig into it, right? We need to uh, evaluate and reevaluate this because each person is creating a reality. And so for you to prosper, for you to move ahead, for you to advance, for you to flourish, for you to thrive, you're going to have to put your attention on your desire or what you prefer or your dream, your want, your wish fulfilled, right? Neville tells us over and over again, you're already the person that you desire to be. Your refusal to believe it is the only reason that you don't see it. Remember, seeing is not believing. Believing is seeing. And your belief is the lens that you're seeing through. So you're going to have to become aware. You're going to have to become conscientious. You're going to have to become cognizant. You're going to have to become mindful. You're going to have to be an alert watcher and observer and be aware of what you're putting your awareness on. That's all it is to it. There's no way around it. You are the cause right? There is no external effect. You are the cause. There is no external effect. You are the cause and there is no external effect, right? You are in a simulation and you're orchestrating everything via your imagination. So what are you putting your attention on? What are you putting your focus on? What is your heart's intention, right? Beneath the surface what is your intent, right? It's time to go beyond just belief to knowing, to knowing, right? That you are creating everything. You're doing everything. You're the director. You're the author. You're the actor 
uh, your character, your all of that. It's your movie. You're creating your reality. You're not a victim. You are the